Greetings! In this lesson, we'll identify the various parts of a real auto sampler, and then we run through the programming steps for two sample programs. The first one is a composite flow-based sampling program, and the second one is a discrete time-based sampling program. Okay, so this is called a 7 12, this is 7, 67, 12. This is the battery. You often see pictures of auto samplers with solar panels, um, but the batter, the auto sampler is not running on the solar panel. The solar panel just charges the battery. To run an auto sampler, you either need a significant battery source like this or an electricity source. The next component is the tubing. This tubing is what actually pulls the water sample up from the control structure. It's important to check the tubing every single time you're in the field. Check for um, whatever that's called. Make sure the, there's no holes in the tubing. Uh, make sure you're able to pull a sample correctly. The pump is located at the top of this model. This model also uh, connects to a flow sensor, so we can do flow composite sampling with a 6712 model. This is a, called a 720 module, um, which is essentially just a pressure transducer. The next component is the desiccant. And then all the connections at the back. That's the distributor arm which swings around inside to fill individual bottles at the given time. So here we're uh, doing an extended program on this 6712, ISCO 6712. We're going to go to the, we've got multiple options here. We're going to go to the program option because we're going to program this um, to do what we want to do. Here's where we do our program name and site description. Okay. Uh, here's where we select our units of measure. In English or metric. In English or metric. Um, here's where we uh, also note what kind of units we want to use for a flow. Right now we're set to use cubic feet per second and millions of gallons. For flow rate and volume, for respectively. Flow rate and volume, respectively. We're looking at using a submerged probe or our, six, uh, our 720 module um, and calculating the flow through a 90 degree V-notch weir. That's good. Reporting out our current level right now based on our pressure transducer reading. Okay. Uh, we're going to use a 15 minute data interval. So information is collected every 15 minutes. Um, we're, we have a 24 bottle configuration. Each of these bottles are a thousand milliliters um, and we have 10 feet of suction line which you saw earlier and the, the program is going to automatically uh, calculate the head, how, how hard it's pulling the water. Okay. We're using a simple one part program and we're going to base everything on how much flow goes through that V-notch weir and our, um, we're going to take a sample every uh, 10,000 gallons or a 0 0.01 million Wait. gallons. So this is equivalent to flow-based sampling. It's just called flow-paste here. And yes. this says every 10,000 gallons, which is 0 0.01 million gallons, we will take one sample. Yes. And we're going to start sampling when we start the, the program. Uh, we have this set up to take uh, four Move samples and put uh, each of those four samples into the same bottle. So this is a composite sample, not a discrete sample. Uh, each time we sample, we're going to pull 100 milliliters. And we're not going to even enable the program until the water level is deep enough um, pull a sample, which is 0 0.25 feet. That's the threshold to start sampling. That's the threshold. Um, 
And we've got a couple of other sample, uh, sample options here. Uh, we're looking at uh, repeatable enable, meaning it can get, this program can get enabled if that condition, the depth condition is met multiple times. And we're not going to sample when that condition is not met or when it drops below, water level drops below. And we're not going to sample immediately at, at enable. It's based on some the flow conditions rather than just an enable event. We're going to continually count down. Um, so if we were doing a time phase, this would continually count even if the conditions weren't met. And we're not going to pause or resume the program. It's just going to run continuously, or run in perpetuity. And we're not going to delay to start. We're going to start this program right now. Yes. And now it's running. So this video is for programming a 3700 Teledyne ISCO auto sampler, which does not have a flow sensor or pressure transducer attached, so we will do only time-based sampling. Time-based, uniform time intervals. Sample every 96 hours, zero minutes, one bottle per sample event. Change bottles based, based on, on samples. samples collected. Change bottles every one sample. Yep. Sample continuously, no. That means it won't uh, go past bottle one and re start refilling. Oh, you mean after all the bottles are collected. Yep. Sample, 200 mils per sample. Enter start time, no. no. We're just going to start it right away. You can delay the start, but we just want it to start now. Zero stops or zero resumes. We're just going to start it and it's going to go. Program sequence complete. That one was easy. Yeah. 